is with great regret <clears throat> I announce that I am resigning from the U.S. House of Representatives as well as resigning as a Republican nominee for Congress in this fall's election. I believe it is the best decision for my family, the people of Northeast Indiana, and our country. I will submit my resignation to Speaker Pelosi effective this Friday. I can never fully thank all those who have worked so hard, given so much, and supported me through eight contested primaries and eight general elections. Only when you have been the recipient can you really feel the humbling power of such generosity. It has been a privilege to be part of the battle for freedom and the values we share. It has been a great honor to fight for the needs, the jobs, and the future of this region where my family has lived over 160 years. It has been all-consuming for me to do this job well, especially in a district with costly competitive elections every two years. I do not have any sort of normal life. For family, for friends, for church, or for community. To serve has been a blessing and a responsibility given from God. I wish I could have been a better example. I sinned against God, my wife, and my family by having a mutual relationship with a part-time member of my staff. In the poisonous environment of Washington, D.C., any personal failing is seized upon, twisted for political gain. I'm resigning rather than put my family through a painful, drawn-out process of which any legal question would have been clearly resolved and I would have been exonerated, but the political price to pay and the personal price of my family was not worth it. Diane and my family were more than willing to stand here with me. We are a committed family. But the error is mine, and I should bear the responsibility. And quite frankly, I'm sick of politicians who drag their spouses up in front of the cameras rather than confronting the problem that they've caused. Not only am I thankful for a loving family and for a loving God. My comfort is <clears throat> that God is gracious and forgiving God to those who sincerely seek his forgiveness as I do. But I am so ashamed to have hurt those I love. I am so sorry to have let so many friends down, people who have fought so hard for me. The ideas we advocate are still just and right. America will survive and thrive when anchored in those values. Human beings like me will fail, but our cause is greater than individuals. It is based upon eternal truths. By stepping aside, my mistake cannot be used as a political football in a partisan attempt to undermine the cause for which I have labored for my entire adult life. I love this area. This is my home. It has been such an honor to serve you. For 16 years, my family and I have given our all for this area. The toll has been high. <coughs> As I leave public office, my plans are focused upon repairing my marriage, earning back the trust of my family and my community, and renewing my walk with my Lord. I humbly ask you, for the sake of my family, that you respect our privacy in this difficult time. I have no further comments. And here's my statement. 